Warning! Graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like pest control videos, then sit back and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. On my last visit here, there was no peanuts in the peanut feeder. On checking the old feeder, I realised the squirrels were coming down and feeding on it in the absence of the peanuts. You can see the maize has been given a right hiding. So I give Bro a call, and he comes out, we agree between us, the squirrels are coming this far, so we'll set everything up here. Much more convenient, no pop-up hides or extra stuff needed to carry. We've got a fixed hide, and we can both shoot it. So we decide to move the peanut feeder down the bank as well. Makes more sense to put it all in front of the fixed hide, once you know they're venturing down this far, and save chasing around the bank. You see the peanut butter on the ledge, and on the top, and it ends up all over Bro's hands, much to his amusement and mine. But a week later it was emptied, and I top it up. All the peanut butter's gone now. It's been either worn off or eaten by birds. Not sure which, but I'm pretty sure the squirrels are visiting it. It's a time for a shooting session. On the morning I turn up to shoot, it's only four days since I topped it up, and it was emptied again. You can quite clearly see the maze has been given another beating. All these things made me smile. There must be a decent amount of squirrels coming here. And I topped it back up to there. From virtually empty. So I just have to sit back and wait, see what turns up. Bang on eight o'clock, one's on the feeder, caught me completely napping, sat munching on the peanuts. Couldn't believe my luck, they don't normally turn up that quickly. And the only trouble with this now is the camera is not going to focus very well. If it focus well long enough, see me hit it straight in the head. Just flip under the fence there, kicking on the bank a bit. So number one's down. Well, I can't see anymore. As a well-balanced person, I think it's high time I had a cup of tea and some digestive biscuits to while away the time for the next squirrel to arrive. The bird life soon starts to move. I should be familiar. Myself and Bro do like watching them. You usually get quite a few birds jumping about, doing their daily business before the squirrels turn up. It's unusual to have a squirrel on the ground before they do. It's nice to see them. Our friend Mr Robin. All too soon, the sun breaks over the top of the hill, which usually means they're on their way, the squirrels. Another one must have been a local one. You see the sun there catching the top of the ferns. Quite a lot of local bird life. Come and have a free peanut for breakfast off of us. We don't mind that. But it's really these feathers we want. I'm going to spot this one running in from the right along a log. I'm not sure if it's clock me move, but it's frozen in position. And that's fine. So I'm starting to jockey for position now. I'm poking the rifle at the other side of the hide. Take a shot at it. Before I have a chance, it runs off. Got to pull the rifle back in again now. And hasty adjustments of the camera. There it is on the bottom log. I anticipate it's going for the peanut feeder. There it is. Couldn't resist. Quite nicely in focus. Just need to sit still. Like that. Number two on the ground. Back to bird watching again. The woods are alive with wildlife. I do like to see it. I've got the camera running now, so I've just spotted a squirrel run straight down that old dead tree at the background. It's about 50 yards away. You could probably make out the tip of the squirrel's tail as it runs across the floor. They usually have a bit of a forage, but I'm pretty sure it's ultimately going to come to the peanut feeder. So I'll leave the camera pan back a bit, just so I can pick him up when he arrives. And there he is. Come at the fence, and I've spotted him now. Spotted the movement, so I'm zooming in.
the trouble with autofocus. It does tend to misbehave sometimes. There we are. It's got a bit out of focus and I haven't noticed. It doesn't matter. So I just hit it with a nice hard headshot. A few kicks on the ground. That gap under the fence is a bit annoying. At the end of this session I block it up for next time. Another one's dead. Three on the ground. I'm sure this is that clumsy blue tip from last time. He's just dropped several peanuts and they've landed on top of the other feeder. He finally picks one up and disappears. I spot one on the floor. I didn't realise what it was doing at the time, but now I can see it on the camera. It's picking up deer hair for nesting material. Quite like deer wandering around these woods. I'm pretty sure this one's eaten at them peanuts. That's blue tits dropped. If he sits looking straight at me like that, he could be in trouble. Could he mention at something? Not anymore. Straight on headshot. Perth's gone straight down into the body. peanut off. Never felt a thing. Just a few nervous kicks. And then before on the ground. I've seen movement at the base of this tree, so I turned the camera on and pointed it straight to the peanut feeder in anticipation of the arrival of the squirrel. I panned out enough to pick it up whatever side it comes from. I'm looking over the top to see if I can see movement, and I spot it further down the tree. So I pan the camera down, and there he is. He's gone to look at the corpses on the floor. It doesn't waste long at that. Gets up onto the ledge of the bottom feeder and moves around. I did expect it to stop and feed there. I didn't realise at the time it took a mouthful on the way through. But it makes its way around the back of the feeder, goes up for some lovely peanuts. Got the rifle in one hand and the camera in the other. I have to excuse my camera work. I did wonder if the corpse would put them off. It's a little bit wary, goes onto the top of the feeder, has another look. Let's have a look in the top, it's seen them lovely peanuts. It throws caution to the wind and comes down for one. Just too tempting, isn't it? Lovely. That's what I wanted to see. So I line up on him, click a doom, and hit him a nice headshot, drop him to the ground in the vegetation, tail in the air. I'm pretty sure the shot's good. And number five, it's the ground. Back to watching the birds and Robin scrapping. Eventually I spot another squirrel up on the feeder. It's a bit nervous. Not sure where it's gone. There it decides to sit on top. Let's have a good look and see straight down inside the hopper. See them lovely peanuts. And it too can't resist and comes down for one. 
a little scratch of his fleas. And decides to go back up onto the top of the feeder. I can't be bothered to move the camera. That will do where he is there. And the one bites the dust. Not sure where that one went. That's number six on the ground. I spot movement at the base of the tree. Now the squirrels come in. I look at the corpses. It's legged at the back. I'm just waiting for it to appear now. It appears over the back side of the fencing. And it's straight to the feeder. Perfect. Just what I want. Of a peanut. I'm waiting for it to sit still. And it won't. It's legged around the back of the tree. It's almost as if he knows. So I've sat there looking. Over the top of the camera. Trying to pick up where it is. And pan back. Just to see it slipping down the back on the right there. And leg it when we peanuts up this fallen log. Escaping with its life. Lucky squirrel. This fat boy got a peanut and got on top of the feeder before I had a chance to do anything. I can see him perfectly well through the gap in the tree to the right, even though the camera can't. So I line up on him. Catch a nice headshot there. So he thrashes around quite a bit. There he is. Oh, the shot's good. Seven's on the ground. I've clocked some movement now on the log to the right. And this may be the one that made it off with the peanuts before. I'll never know. But it came from right direction to be him. Didn't take enough peanuts to keep himself happy last time. So hopefully it's come back for more. So hedging me bets again. So he's going to be going up there. Just have to sit and wait. Sometimes you have to be patient. I can't work out where it is. But I know he's there somewhere. He's not there for fun. He's there for dinner. With some lovely peanuts. There he is. And he'd show himself eventually. It's more like it. That's Paul texting me again. The behaviour of this one's very similar to the one that ran away. So I'd like to think it was. That's often a good shot when I do that. I'm pretty sure he's going to come for a peanut. He's very nervous about that corpse. Put the camera pan back. Put the rifle out through the hole in the hide. I'm just waiting for him to give me an opportunity. It comes to have a sniff of the corpse. This could be it. No. It's gone down the back of the tree again. It's not going to make this easy for me. Now where's it gone? Oh, he's over there. I was right about that corpse being a bit awkward. This makes some very nervous. I did think I might get a shot here, actually. No aggressive behaviour. Seemed quite gentle, that one. It's just what I don't want. I'm on the wrong side. 
like he's filling his mouth with peanuts again to run off. Nope. Yep, yeah, he's off again. Now where's it gone? Very frustrating. I can't work out where it is for the money. Turn the camera off. And literally two minutes later, I see movement down the back of the tree. This has to be the same one again. I reckon it's gone down there to eat them peanuts behind the tree out of sight. Same nervous behaviour. He's checking out that one in the foliage. I left the camera pan back and the rifle's ready to go. Got off for me a shot. Solid impact there. I knew I'd get him in the end. He's got to be patient. There's a few twitches. The shot was good. He had one peanut too many. Number eight hits the floor. I've seen movement on the floor. I've turned the camera on. I zoom in just to catch sight of a tail flick. I'm looking for it. I suddenly realise it's gone up to the feeder straight away. Must have sprinted up there. Really wants a peanut badly this one. I managed to keep the camera there. Square it up a bit. The rifle for the hole. Line up on it. Another headshot. Face down in the dirt. A few kicks and it rolls down the slope. Number nine on the floor. I thought this robin might pluck a few hairs for its nest. Just passing through. And this female woodpecker comes in, takes one peanut, disappears, and that's the last we see of her. This bud comes in, straight to the feeder, no messing. I'm worried by the one on the top of the other feeder. So I line up on in now. Another headshot. I didn't realise at the time it's actually gripped on with its back leg there. Often happens with another headshot. And that's ten for the day. It's a roundup of all the corpses. There's three, number four, five, that's what it danced around a lot, six, seven, Eight and nine landed on top of each other almost. And there's ten not far away. There we are. Seven bucks, all five on the left are bucks. And the top and bottom on the right are bucks as well. And the three in the middle are does. Double figure day eight. So I'll leave you with a few pictures of my lovely rapid with 10 squirrels on a nice stump there for artistic merit. I'll need a bigger stump at this rate. Got seven on the front, three on the back, as you can see there from viewed from above. Very good day out. And viewed for the end, you can see my lovely Hug It moderator and a few of the squirrels. There's one of the headshots there. That's where the pellet ended up. Not surprising they dropped quite well. 
There's actually nine there. One of them was too small to be worrying about. My freezer's getting pretty full. Escapes will have to come and take them pretty soon. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.